Hi, my name is Prabhakar. I will make a good use of this opportunity to explain how to create a Python script to detect the language detection from plain text. In this example, we can see the code snippet for detecting multiple languages on a given input sentences. Here I'm using a LangDetect, that is a Python library for detecting the languages. Uh, in, in web, we can find uh, uh, plenty of uh, plenty of language detection modules such as uh, TextBlock and LangDetect and LangGrid. So we can also use uh, any of the any of the uh, library for detecting the languages. So, but here I'm using the LangDetect library since it will support uh, 55 languages, and uh, so we can create a new language profile to add a new language support using the LangDetect jar file so that we can create our own language and we can customize it as per our requirement. The idea behind language detection is based on the detection of the characters among the expressions and the words in the text. The main principle is to detect commonly used words like of an English. Python provides various modules for language detection. In this article, the modules are covered, such as how to detect the language, how to actually predict the things and the main agenda for this session is that installation of language detection uh, library and uh, run examples uh, with the various language detections and uh, so before starting that so I will put a, some disclaimer on this language detection algorithm is a non-deterministic which means that if you try to run it on a text which is either too short or too ambiguous so you might get a different results every time you run it. So there are some ways to uh, fix that issue. So without uh, any further delay, let's quickly embark on a journey to language detection examples. For doing that, uh, I'm, uh, I am planning to use Python 3.6 and Python 3.5 onwards, the greater version, which is uh, best to avoid any encoding issues and uh, the uh, excellently they have handled all encoding issues if you are planning to use a python 2.x version so probably you will get uh, uh, most of the encoding issues here so uh, currently i am using uh, python 2.7 so that's why i have created a virtual environment uh, with, which will support python 3.6 let me activate python 3.6 now, so I'm in a Python 3.6.9 version. So, okay, let's start uh, creating the program uh, for detecting the multiple languages here. So before doing that, as I said, so first of all, we have to install uh, the language detection library. So as I said, so there are uh, plenty of uh, different uh, language detection modules are available uh, in the web. So one is a text blob and uh, we can use a text grid and uh, lang grid, sorry, and uh, lang detect. So I'm using the language detection here. So for doing that, you can install using the pip, pip install lang detect. So once you install that, so I already installed that. So, so you will get to the installation window. So once the installation is completed, what you can do is, so you can simply uh, open your uh, any of the editor here, and uh, you can you can import, you can make a new Python file, and uh, I'm making it as uh, the language detection .py file. So here I'm importing that lang detect and uh, from detect it is a pretty simple to detect any of the languages here i'm using that my sentence is sentence is so my name is prabhakar and i am from india so if i use uh, detect is a method and uh, send if i pass the sentence here so for that if i if i run that language detection okay so it is giving some error uh 
from land tax tax error from okay sorry so it should be import so if i run the land detect so it will return the language code so this en stands for english okay so similarly i can also use for the other languages okay so uh, if i open a google translator google translator and here if i use that okay uh, i am prabhaka and i am from india okay this sentence if i try to convert into hindi okay you just copy this sentence and uh, go to your example and replace this sentence so if i run the same example again so it will detect the language code as hindi okay so what i can do is so uh, i will try to make an example which will actually support uh, the following uh, the languages english hindi marathi gujarati punjabi urdu and bengali so for doing that what i can do so here uh, all uh, i'm def uh, i'm defining some language codes here so all uh, language codes okay so what it can do suppose if i use uh, en english and if i use uh, hindi so i am going to actually display uh, my language name instead of displaying the language code here so if i use all underscore language underscore codes dot get so if i run this instead of getting as uh, hindi so i can get uh, i can get uh, the language name here dot okay so this is of getting hi a language code i can get the hindi so uh, let's try that okay so i am defining hindi and similarly i can also define uh, marathi okay marathi and i can also define uh, punjabi and i can also define urdu and similarly some gujarati okay so let's find uh, something uh, some of the uh, the language codes for that so for marathi so it is uh, mr and for punjabi so it is uh, punjabi i'm not getting what is the code for that punjabi okay so let's add uh, telugu for that telugu so i can get uh, the language code is te telugu and uh, for gujarati so i can i can specify the language code as g it's a gu is my gujarati some of the extended version for the gujarati so we can also get the the language code as uh, the guj is a gujarati we can get that and for the urdu so we can also get uh, the language code as uh, is ur and uh, in urdu it will come up uh, it comes with the two flavors and uh, so one is uh, the lower version and one is advanced version uh, there is uh, one more keyboard called uh, urd is the language code for the urdu okay so punjabi okay so for the punjabi i can search it on the browser punjabi the language code the pa okay so i can use the punjabi is the pa code okay so these are the set of language codes which i have used so now what i can do is so uh, instead of actually taking only one sentence here okay so i can take uh, the multiple sentences so for that i can use the variable input underscore sentences okay so here i'm defining the sum of the list here so for doing that list i will fill the different random languages here 
So for doing that, instead of using this sentence, if I say, okay, so I'm uh, planning to buy a new mobile. Okay, so this is my Hindi sentence. I can copy it here, but my script don't know that, okay, whether it is a Hindi or English. So after running that, it will automatically detect the language. And uh, I can also go for the Marathi. Here is my Marathi string and put that. And similarly, I can select it for some other language, is a Telugu. Okay. And uh, English language uh, string, I can use it as it is. Okay. And uh, we want to put some more string which is belongs to Gujarati. Um, Gujarati. And uh, okay, we covered Gujarati, Punjab. We want to add a Punjabi one. So, Punjabi string is this. Okay, so now I have specified a list of uh, uh, my sentences here. Now, what I want to do is I want to find out okay, which sentences belongs to which language, and I want to display uh, the language on uh, the language code along with the language name on this. So for that, I'm actually doing some string formatting here. So what I can do is uh, uh, lemmatizer. So I'm using something lemmatizer where I can uh, uh, format the strings. Okay, here I'm using the language code. And at the same time, I'm using uh, input sentence. Okay, these are the two entries which I'm using it, format and underscore text. And uh, this text I'm formatting with uh, 24 spaces. And uh, after the so 24 spaces, I'm uh, increasing the size of length. So the plus one, okay. So after doing that, what I can do now, I'm printing the changes here. Format that. Format and uh, the language name. The language names. Okay. So uh, so after putting the language names, so whenever for every uh, new entry, so I'm displaying. Uh, the new line here and uh, so before that so I'm putting uh, some hash hash so you don't bother about uh, this formatting stuff so for displaying uh, the output in a structure format I'm using uh, this, this this sentence uh, this lines up code okay so here the input sentences sentences I'm uh, traversing that and the language code I'm detecting that so detect the language code for the given sentence and the sentence is sentence i'm just taking the sentences of all the sentences that get the language underscore code so once i receive that so i'm actually displaying the, the final data on that so now let's let's print that so formatted text and dot format and uh, sentence. Okay, that's it. So after doing that, save the changes and uh, run the program. So tuple index is out of range. So tuple index is out of range. Okay, let, let's check that. Okay, so what are additional languages it is detected. So I'm displaying the language name and the language code. And uh, the below that uh, lemmatizer, I'm using the lemmatizer names. So which will actually start from my formatting text. And uh, this format text. And uh, into, this is fine. The number is fine, and uh, if I go down below,
okay so here we have to add uh, the language code okay and if you run this program so if you, if you find that okay it is picked off any of the sentence so it will detect the language code and along with the language name so this is how we can uh, we can develop we can create a python script which will detect the multiple uh, languages from the plain sentences so out of that uh, so i will try to show you that how we can uh, put that into uh, Jupyter Notebook. So um, I'm actually going to script and uh, here I'm making a new directory, language detection. So inside this language detection, so I'm opening the Jupyter Notebook. This is out of the scope, but still, so you can, you can easily uh, uh, recognize the text is up in this black and white screen. Now I have opened the Jupyter Notebook where I can write uh, uh, this program into uh, inside my notebook. Okay, so I'm selecting it for the Python 3 and here I'm pasting all the code into one liner. So if you run this program, you can, you can easily find that. Okay, so this is the, the live example and uh, live you can find the uh, output inside uh, uh, on the browser itself. You can write the program on the browser itself you can see the output on the browser itself. So this is how to randomly you can, you can select any of the language. For example, uh, out of the scope, okay, so randomly if I select any of the other language, like for example, Bangla. So if I copy this code and uh, if, I, if I go here and if I use the detect and uh, you, can, you can paste the sentence here and try to run this, okay, it will automatically detect the the language code for the Mangala, Bengali. Okay, so this is how we can uh, detect the multiple languages. And apart from that, if there is any new language, new local language, and if you want to add uh, any support for the local language, so we can easily add it with the help of language detect or the jar file, where we can create a language profile and we can add uh, required customizations on that. So if you have any questions, please put your comments uh, on the below screen. And so I have provided uh, some reference links for the Moody test. Thank you so much.